In this video, I'm going to show you utility maximization using the substitution method. So here we have a utility function. Utility equals x to the 1 half times y to the 1 half power, where x and y are units of good x and good y. Uh, the first thing to do to make this a, a little bit easier is to do a positive monotonic transformation on the utility function. And so I'm just going to... Uh, square the right-hand side to get rid of these um, exponents here. So doing that, utility equals x times y. Uh, this will leave the preference ordering for bundles completely unchanged. So um, this won't affect our final outcome or our final answer. So let's say the consumer has a budget constraint uh, where income is 100, the price of good X is $10, and the price of good Y is $2. The substitution method is this. Solve the budget constraint, say, for Y. So Y equals 50 minus 5X. And now plug this into the utility function, where you see Y plug in 50 minus 5X. So doing that over here. And then I'm just going to simplify this by multiplying the X uh, through what's in parentheses. And now this becomes a straightforward maximization problem. We're going to take the derivative of the utility function with respect to x, and we're going to set that result equal to 0. So the derivative of 50x minus 5x squared is 50 minus 10x. Uh, we're going to be interested in maximizing this, so we set this equal to 0 and solve for x. So x equals 5. And taking this 5 and plugging it back into this expression for y, y equals 25. So that is a utility maximizing consumption bundle. Uh, we could use a substitution method without first using a positive monotonic transformation. Uh, I'll show that step uh, next. So same setup here. Uh, solving the budget constraint for y. We're just now going to plug this into the utility function. And so we got utility here is a function of one variable x. And so we are just going to take the derivative of the utility function with respect to x. We are going to get the same answers as example one, but the math is going to be a lot more uh, messy here. So here is our derivative. So I'm first taking the derivative of x to the 1 half, bringing that ha 1 half down in front. And then x to the 1 half minus 1 leaves us x to the minus 1 half. Um, and then this is just going to be multiplied by what's in parentheses here. All right, and then the next step here is uh, to take the derivative of what's in parentheses here, 50 minus 5x to the 1 half. So this 1 half over here is what's coming down from the exponent here on the parentheses term. That's coming down in front. And then I'm going to... Uh, subtract 1 from the exponent here on the parentheses term, so we get minus 1 half. And then finally, I need to take the derivative of what's inside parentheses here with respect to x, and that's where this minus 5 is coming from. Once again, we set this derivative equal to 0, and we're going to solve for x. So moving this uh, set of terms over here to the right-hand side, we lose the minus sign, so it's now just 5. Uh, the 1 half terms will cancel, and we get this. Moving on. So this is just the same result uh, from the last screen. Uh, next step here is dividing everything through by x to the one x to the minus one half power that'll leave us with x on the right hand side the next step i'm going to divide everything through by 50 minus 5x all raised to the minus one half power that'll leave us with 50 minus 5x on the left hand side collecting our x terms once again x equals 5 and y equals 25. Okay, I hope you found this video interesting.